And in other news, as the 2021 election season gets underway, yes, we're talking elections again, many eyes are on the race for the next mayor of New York City and also the next governor of Virginia. Virginia, arguably the most race, most watched race this year. Top Democrats like Stacey Abrams and Vice President Kamala Harris are turning out the vote for Democrat Terry McCullough to ensure that that state stays a, a Democratic state. Joining us now to discuss this is Terrence Woodbury, Chief Executive Officer and Founding Partner of Hit Strategies, and he is a Democratic pollster. Welcome to BNC, Terrence. Good to have you. Let's talk about New York first. New York mayoral candidate Eric Adams, he is favored to win, but he does face an uphill battle because he's tackling these issues of crime and homelessness and vaccine mandates, of course. So what are your thoughts here according to what you're seeing in your polls? What does he need to get this support uh, going for the debate tomorrow night? Well, you know, Eric Adams is in a very, very good position in Florida after finishing in a, a razor thin primary that he was able to pull off by just 1% against uh, a, a lot of historic, uh, diverse and dynamic candidates. And so now he has, a, he has the, the, the challenge of pulling together the, the, the diverse New York coalition uh, he has a five to one party advantage in party registration in New York. And so he's expected to pull off. But it but you see Eric Adams pulling a, a playbook that many 2021 candidates and that I expect to see from 20, 2022 candidates. And that is nationalizing their race, animating their base by invoking Donald Trump, who is uh, who is, uh, you know, quite a, a New York, a New York boogeyman there amongst New York City progressives. Yeah, boogeyman, that's a good way of putting it. So so it looks like he's going to, you know, take the win, despite the fact that he did have that slim margin. Um, but what about him being a former um, NYPD? What about the, the relationship between cops and everybody else there? Obviously, we know about crime. We know about these tensions. What's that going to be like? You know, a lot of folks, a lot of people are looking to New York City to under dynamics, especially amongst Democratic, uh, the Democratic electorate, understand the dynamics between uh, between policing and the need to increase public safety and the demands for criminal justice reform that we have seen emerging from the left. And in fact, New York was a was a was a, a hotbed of of protests uh, during the summer of unrest in 2020, when we saw many uh, young and diverse voters taking to the streets demanding for a more uh, rapid and robust reform to police. And Eric Adams ran on a very pro-police platform. And I think a lot of people are, are, are looking there to see what that means for, uh, for, for Democrats in 2022. But there's a couple of other races around the city that we should also, uh, around the country, that we should pay attention to, including a mayor's race in Atlanta, another urban center with very diverse electorate um, that, that also that also has crime and public safety as their number one issue, and and a couple of a couple of candidates there are on, on either side of the uh, police reform or pro police public safety, and so the, I think the, the the verdict is still out on on how this is going to play out, but I, I I'm sure that uh, that that people will be looking to what happens in 2021 to inform their tactics in 2022. Yeah, Terrence, I actually also wanted to ask you about Virginia because that's a big one. And Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, voting rights activist Stacey Abrams, former President Barack Obama, they're coming out in full support for Virginia gubernatorial candidate Terry McAuliffe. So what are your what are your polls showing in terms of that? I mean, all these heavyweights behind him, but they're pretty worried about Republicans maybe taking that state. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, Joe Biden did exceptionally well in Virginia uh, just just eight months ago. He, he he pulled off the state by 10 points. But we do see Terry McAuliffe, while he is maintaining a consistent lead in the polls, it is a rather thin lead. And in fact, I don't think that I've seen a poll yet that puts Terry McAuliffe above 50 percent. And so Democrats are calling in heavy reinforcements here. And I think I would point to the types of surrogates that they are enlisting to really point to where they, to, to the strategy that they have here, pulling in Kamala Harris, Stacey Abrams, and other uh, and, and other and other uh, surrogates that can really animate uh, a, a young and diverse electorate. And the difference here is that you know Joe Biden, in fact, pulled together a very different type of Democratic coalition 
one that was fueled by increases uh, amongst white men. And while Terry McAuliffe is, is, is obviously attempting to court those voters, there is a need to mobilize young and diverse voters in Virginia, where that, where that Democratic electorate is amongst the most diverse in the nation. Um, and, 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 they're, and they're calling in reinforcements to do that. I think uh, what, what happens in 2021 is going to tell us a lot about what to expect in 2022, especially as Republicans begin and continue to, to wage this culture war around issues like defund the police and critical race theory and women's choice, that, 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 that as that culture war begins to define the body politic, I think we will, we will continue to, 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 to look towards, uh, to, to see where, how Democrats uh, position themselves either as a, as a beacon of economic uh, um, uh, prosperity and, and advancement or to also provide a vision of a multicultural, multiracial, uh, diverse uh, future where, where, where diversity is in fact our strength and, and, and begin to provide an alternative to what Republicans are, 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 are painting on the other side. All right, Terrence, thank you so much for being with us. Keep watching those polls because we're going to be talking a lot more about this as Election Day approaches. Take care. And stay with us, everyone. We have much more news coming up. This is BNC. Paul loves food. Oh, you want to order? But his diabetes made food a mystery. Everything felt like a no. But then Paul went from 